and thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for staying on board with me or welcome if this is your first video. Today we're going to be uh, doing a practice that uh, the words rather that I want to focus on are flexibility and stability. Now these are things that we incorporate every week into our workout but I like to be mindful through our movements so as we're going through today's workout just think of the words flexibility and stability and check in make sure your structure has integrity that you're moving with mindfulness and uh, that being said we'll do a little yoga based warm up. We're going to start with a few sun salutations so go ahead and meet me in standing. Make your way there nice and gently. Whoop. Play with it. <laughs> Have fun with it. All right. So let's straighten ourselves out here a bit. And stand with feet about hip width apart. Just about two fists that you can fit in between your big toes. Adjust as you need. There we go. All right. Make sure you have that um, structure really checked in with, okay? You know, the, the integrity of these moves is all, all about your structure. So keep that pelvic bolster in nice and tight. We're gonna keep our neck lengthened, strengthened, but not strained, and shoulders back, okay? On an inhale, we're gonna all rise up. And exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees as generously as you need. I've got pretty long legs, so it's hard for me when it comes to flexion and stretch in the back. Always room for improvement with this girl. <laughs> All right, on an inhale, go to flat back, whatever version. You could do hands on your thighs, hands on your shin, hands from the ground, just so long as you keep that nice flat structure. Nice flat, like you could have a little tea party on your back there, okay? All right, and on an exhale, fall forward. And plant the palms. We're gonna walk it up to plank. And pedal it out in plank. If you're ready for that. If not, you can meet in a cat-cow. Cat-cow is a good variation too. Just remember your shoulders. Uh, hands in line with your shoulders. Knees hip width apart. Otherwise, if you're ready for plank, we're gonna go up, stretch it on out the backs of those legs, roll your shoulders back, and we're gonna go forward in either a down dog or a baby cobra. Let's go ahead and start with cobra today. So come on down. Nose to the mouth, gently lift. On an inhale, and exhale lower. Let's do that one more time. And if you remember our swimmers from last week, this move is a micro movement, so we're not going too crazy here. We really want to keep the structure or the focus in our glutes, in our core, and keep all that tension out of the back there, okay? So we can almost float here. And exhale, release. And we're going to plant our toes back there. We're going to push it up and back into a downward dog. Go ahead and pedal it out here. Get those legs nice and warm for our movements today. Let's do a couple breaths of stillness. One more deep breath in. And on an exhale, follow your nose to the front of your mat and step, hop, leap, whatever you want up to the front. I'm gonna do a nice and Gentle walk here, feet together, and forward fold. All right, on an inhale, rise up, and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms. We're going to step it back into that plank or cat cow, wherever you're at today. Knee plank, you could too. Give us a couple of bat rocks back and forth. And either up dog or baby cobra. Ooh, that one's nice. This down to or up dog here is great for a move we'll be doing today for hip opener. And on an exhale. Press it back up in a down dog. Good. 
And let's go ahead and walk our hands back to our feet this time. There we go. Fall over into forward fold. And on an inhale, rise up. Biggest inhale yet today. And forward fold, dive forward. And on an inhale, lift to flat back. Whatever version feels good for you. And exhale, go ahead. I like one more forward fold. Sneak it in there. All right, go ahead and plant the palms. We're gonna walk ourselves out to that plank. And last time through for our warm up, we're gonna go ahead and lower to cobra or up dog, whatever you're feeling. This is just as much your practice as it is mine. And plant the toes, press back up to down dog. Give us a good little walk in the dog here before we really get the heat going. <laughs> All right. Deep inhale here. One more. And on an exhale, we're gonna walk ourselves to the center of our mat. Don't get too excited, we're not coming all the way up yet. Go ahead and get those feet hip width apart, two fists in between. And next we're gonna do single leg extensions, okay? So we're gonna start by straightening our left leg and keeping that right leg bent. So with that structural integrity, keep your little pelvic bowl scooped in, nice flat back, booty out. We're gonna go ahead and straighten this left leg. You're gonna slide your right arm down the bent right leg. Ooh, that feels so good. <laughs> and then we're gonna open up like a nice book, a brand new book, or a used book that's been well read and well loved. Spread those fingertips wide. Mmm, that's such a good hip opener. Lower back, you should really feel that all oh, that breath really expands those muscles back there. One more deep breath in. And on an exhale, come back down. Bend both those knees. Give us a nice relaxed forward fold. Inhale deep. And exhale. Next, we're going to repeat that on the other side. So get that pelvic bowl scooped in or that belly bowl scooped in. We're going to bend our left leg this time. We're gonna take that left arm, keep that right leg extended, and we're gonna open on this side. Yeah. If you want a little deeper stretch too, you can look up. This is good at challenging your balance. Take a look up at that upper hand. One more deep breath. Open those back muscles there. Spread those fingers, and on an exhale, with control, everyone. Come back to a forward fold. All right. Hmm. I hope we're all feeling pretty warm. Let's go ahead and gently shake it up. Roll up nice and easy. I like to give a little wiggle. Just remember to keep things easy. Keep things nice and loose. All right, that's our warm up. I'm gonna go ahead and get our timer started, but first I'm gonna go grab a sip of water. So. Go grab yourself one too if you need it. Be right back. Okay, ready to go. Hopefully you've got a nice sip of water in you. You're feeling ready, warm. We're gonna go ahead and get into our circuits. Five moves, again today, same structure, five moves. 60 seconds on, 15 seconds off, and the whole series three times through. So, um, we're gonna start on our backs here. We're going to start with some crisscross, which um, this is a pretty classic move, um, just in general, a good form of, of crunches, good way to wake, wake up our powerhouse, okay? I love starting with a good core move, since that's where all these moves are really um, driven from, is, is core control. So, meet me on your backs, nice and gently, and we're going to go ahead, plant our feet, remember to get that little belly bowl nice and scooped in. And bring your arms. We're gonna make a little cradle. Um, we don't wanna like latch them like, you know, too hard like this. We wanna keep the fingers nice and lengthened, tucking our shoulder blades and keeping our back flat with the mat. 
So, crisscross. We're going to go ahead and start. If you remember our single leg stretches from last week, it's a similar um, leg motion here. So, we're going to start um, by extending, let's extend our right leg first, bringing our left in, keeping that neck nice and lengthened. Now, as you can see, I'm trying to keep my elbows as wide as the mat. We're just really keeping that focus up nice and high, keeping our feet, our legs parallel with the ground. We don't want to touch the ground. Just barely, barely hovering, okay? And breathing. Inhale and exhale. There you go. Go ahead and hug those knees into that chest. 60 seconds on to that, okay? That's our crisscross. Next, wee. All right, <laughs> I love that. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is called the saw, which in Pilates, I'll face you guys for this one just so you can kind of see the structure. We're gonna take your legs as wide as they can comfortably go while remaining nice and flat to the ground, keeping you stable. We're gonna keep that little belly bowl. I'll remind you every time today, <laughs> every time that I can. We're gonna extend our arms out nice and wide. And on an inhale, we're gonna cross over. And this is called, by the way, this is called the saw. Uh, very classic, it's a pretty fundamental Pilates move. Good for balance, strengthening, flexibility, and lengthening. So, all right, so let's go ahead and breathe in nice and deep, arms out. Flip those palms up. We're gonna use that core as balance or as a, a center here, a center of gravity. And we're gonna reach forward. On the exhale, we press down. On the inhale, we come up. And exhale, cross over to the other side. On an inhale, we come up. And exhale. Inhale, we come up, and exhale. Let's do one more on each side. Again, if your legs are only coming to about right here, that's okay, wherever they're at, right there. Nah, you can get them wider than that, I think. But <laughs> All right, wherever you're at today, just use that core motion, keeping that almost like a gimbal, like your, your little powerhouse is a gimbal, and you're gonna use that as motion, that center of gravity is hard to do with my legs and this <laughs> I've got long limbs, people. Work with me here. All right, so wherever you're at, let's just do one more cycle through so we can feel um, comfortable in that, that structure, okay? So, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. There we go. And it does help to keep those toes flexed too. So, nice job, that was our saw. Our third move today is going to be a side kick. Now, this is a super grounded move. Every, you know, we're not gonna be flying around on plank like we were last week. <laughs> that was a challenge for me too. So, we're gonna come down here, we're gonna use, let's start on our right side. We're gonna use our right hand as support for our head. We want to keep our hips square, our shoulders square, so we don't want to be leaning back this way, we don't want to be hovering forward, we want to keep a nice solid structure, and it helps to use this hand as, um, as support, you're not pressing in, but you're just using it as kind of a whoop, whoop, you know, one of those, whoop, <laughs> you know, um, one of those. So, um, we're going to do a side kick, which as you can see, keeping that structure, keeping those hips in line, we're going to go ahead and um, flexed feet as well. Flexed feet are going to help with balance. So, sorry, bring this hand down to the earth. What the, the key for the side kick here is to keep this leg parallel, all right? We're not going to come up here. We're not going to go, you know, woo. We're gonna try and keep a perfect line, almost like um, you were scraping out the inside of uh, the 
cookie batter or something, your brownie batter bowl, okay? So using that foot and right on back. Ooh, see that's hard. And you can bend this bottom leg if you need to for a little extra support. And the, on our way back, we're only going about two to three inches behind that front leg, that bottom leg. So we're only going about two to three inches. We're not shooting back here. Whoa, otherwise we'll lose our balance. So we're going, our main idea here is to keep this front kick. One, two, and eventually, if you can get it all the way up here, great. But for now, we're just focusing on one, two, One, two, inhale back. And on that inhale back, be sure you're using, you're keeping that structure in your hips, keeping your hips square. And um, it does help to keep your core engaged here, folks. I'm telling you. All right. One, two. One, two. Now let's go ahead and switch sides. Uh, if you're just doing this from your mat, you can flip over this way, but so that I can keep looking at you, I'm going to switch over this way, and we'll repeat that move. Remember, you can use this hand as a nice neck support. Use this as your stability. Are my shoulders in line? Am I collapsing? Nope. Is my neck nice and long? Yep. And we're going to keep those hips in line. There we go. All right. We're going to inhale to uh, kick that leg slightly back to prepare, and then exhale forward. Kick, kick. So we do these two kicks. It really opens up the back of the leg, okay? This is really, really great for hamstrings, glutes. Kick, kick. And the most challenging part for me is keeping that perfect parallel line with long legs. It's kind of like, yeah, keeping it balanced. <laughs> awesome. One more, okay? All right. Go ahead and lower with control. And there you go. Woohoo! Side kicks. All right. This next one, I'm gonna let you guys be um, the, your own best judge here. We, you can either do just glute bridges. So if you remember those from our first week, let's see here. Find yourselves on a flat back, bring those heels close to your booty, and our just classical bridges here. We're gonna tuck those shoulders in, and we're gonna inhale. And just your standard bridges, okay? Remember in Pilates, we're gonna use those ribs. Um, uh, make sure your ribs are nice and knit, like you're holding hands with a loved one. And um, keep that pelvis nice and flat, okay? You wanna be able to roll a, a sweet berry <laughs> down to your pelvis and catch it in your mouth. Um, we don't want any big arches like this. We wanna keep a, a nice, flat, flexed glutes, um, straight line, okay? So that's level one today, is glute bridges. Level two, we're gonna go ahead and lift that right leg, keep it flexed, and lower. This creates, it's a great exercise for balance, but it also creates more resistance in this, uh, in the opposite leg. Try pointing that toe too. You can try whatever feels good, but I think a flexed foot helps me keep my hips square and switch. Inhale to rise. Exhale to fall. Inhale to rise. Exhale to fall. Oh yeah, those glutes are a feeling. All right, so pretty basic. Level one and level two of glute bridges today, okay? Whee! <laughs> All right, last but not least, 
we are going to do the uh, Pilates standing lunge. So, I love this one because we get to do I Dream of Genie arms. And so we're going to keep our arms nice. This helps us keep our structure, keeps our balance. Keep our arms, our shoulders back. But I Dream of Genie arms. Feet about hip width apart. Now, if you have knee troubles or anything like that, you can definitely bring your hands down to your hips for extra stability. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and start that way. We'll work our way up today, okay? So, go ahead and keep those shoulders back. You're going to trust that the ground is in front of you, okay? Um, you're going to follow either a 45 degree angle or higher just to keep that structure so you're not like really crushing down here. And we're going to take that right leg first. Fall into a lunge and down. Now, the key with the lunge, take your time to adjust. You never want your knee to go over your ankle. So you never want like that. Yikes, that's not good, okay? Um, <laughs> none of that. All right, so from your lunge, keep that nice square angle. And then you're going to go ahead and kick back up, okay? Let's go ahead and do it on the other side. Deep inhale in. Exhale. Adjust as you need and come on down. Low lunge. And come up. And exhale. Back to standing. Okay? Let's try it with those arms and see if that works for anybody, <laughs> including me. <laughs> All right. Inhale. And exhale. Right foot forward. Fall. Oh, yeah. See, that was so good. Whoo really opens up the front of that hip too. I think just having your hands free allows you to really focus on the powerhouse as your, your uh, driving force. And exhale, come back to standing. We're gonna switch sides here, inhale deep. And exhale, left foot forward. Ooh yeah, that feels so good. Deep breath in here. You should really feel that lymph area on your inner thigh, just that, that pelvic bowl there really opening up. That's so good. Deep inhale in and whew, exhale to standing if you can, just barely. <laughs> All right, so that is our circuit. I'll go ahead and get our timer going and um, let's get to it. Let's do it. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> okay, it's gonna have a five second countdown, all right? We're gonna start with our crisscross. Begin. Inhale. Inhale to prepare and exhale through the work. Ten more seconds. 
seconds, guys. We're gonna do one more on each side. One more on the other side. And rest. Nice job, you guys. Next, we're gonna go back to that side kick. We'll start on our right side. Get in that nice square position. Support your head here. Go ahead and use this hand for stability. Are your hips square? Are your shoulders square? Great, then begin. On an inhale, we're gonna prep back just a couple inches. Kick, kick. Ten more 
seconds. You can do anything for 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Hug those knees into that chest. Tuck in the belly. Thanks, body. All right. Come on up here and we're going to do our saw again. It is a hot August day, y'all. I don't know where you are, but I love it. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and inhale and begin. Once again, a lot of this move is power from your obliques. But wow, the stretch that comes with it. So many good benefits. Okay, the whole thing one more time through. 
Let's get on our backs. Ooh. And have a blast with it, okay? So last time for you guys, maybe, maybe your crisscrosses. Back it up. <laughs> Shake it 
that, you guys. We'll try and get at least two good deep squat or lunges in on each side, okay? Bring those arms up. Inhale deep. Exhale. Kick forward. Trust that the ground's there to catch you. And inhale deep. And on an exhale, push back. There we go. See, the more you do it, the more uh, your body gets the hang of that, okay? Inhale deep and then exhale. Forward. Awesome. Inhale deep. Exhale. Inhale deep. Exhale, kick back. Woo! <laughs> Inhale deep. Inhale. Exhale. We're gonna go back. Inhale. Left foot. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Come standing. Woo! Give yourselves a round of applause. We did it. There's our circuit for today. Flexibility, stability. I hope you felt those words in your movements. Let's go ahead and get another sip of water if you need. And I'll meet you back down to reverse our warm up as a cool down. Be right back. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and move through our cool down. We're gonna go ahead and start with our sun salutations and do our little single leg stretches, but let's go ahead, while we've still got some heat in our bodies, go ahead and do our sun salutations. We're gonna move through these a little quicker than when we started. Feet about hip width apart. Inhale. And exhale, dive forward. Do you feel your body a little more flexible now too? I totally do. Inhale, flat back. And exhale, plant the palms, crawl forward. Go ahead and step back to plant. Lower to up dog or cobra, your choice. Back up to down dog. Walk it out. Go ahead and walk those palms back to the feet. And inhale, rise up. And exhale, forward fold. Mm. Give us a little nod in the head. Shake it out. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, go ahead and walk the palms forward. Crawl yourself out to plank and lower to cobra or up dog. Unhook your pigtail from your ear <laughs> if you're me. And press back up to down dog. Couple steps, couple breaths. Go ahead and walk those palms back to your feet. And last one, you guys, biggest breath you've taken all day. And release. Go ahead and halfway lift. Whatever suits you today. And fall forward. We're going to crawl back up. Cobra or down or up dog, sorry. I'm going to go ahead to my up dog. Nice job. We'll go ahead and how about let's walk the feet to the center of the mat, hip width apart, and we're going to go ahead and into those single leg stretches while we're here in forward fold, okay? So let's go ahead and straighten that um, left leg first, bend that right. We're going to keep that right arm straight. Open your book. Open your good book, your favorite book. The book of you. <laughs> Get really deep here. Let's go ahead and on an exhale, make a big arm circle one way. Inhale back to the top and on an exhale, big arm circle the other way. And gently close your book. Meet in the middle. Let your head hang for a quick minute. Shake it up, shake it up. <laughs> Go ahead and 
Straighten that right leg, keep that left leg nice and bent, your left arm uh, nice and parallel with it. Open that both of you. And on an exhale, big arm circle one way. Inhale. And on an exhale, big arm circle the other way. Oh, that's real nice. We're going to come back down, forward fold, shake it out, and go ahead, find your way. If you need to sit in a savasana, a little dead man's pose, if this is the end of your day, go for it. Great job, everybody, no matter where you're at, no matter what time of day it is for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you feel rejuvenated, revitalized, and refreshed. Um, other than that, uh, thank you so much again. It's my pleasure to keep offering these videos to you. So tune in next week for week four.